from NCT 127 facing bigger problems than a bomb threat during their Indonesian concert, to a lump on Jisoo's neck leading to speculations of the idol suffering from a severe medical condition, the case of a former government employee trying to sell BTS Jungkook's hat, online coming to a closure, to New Jeans members come back. We've got a lot to cover in this episode of K-Pop Collective. Subscribe to K-Pop Collective for all the latest K-Pop news. And don't forget to like and comment on our videos. When Korea was mourning the loss of more than 150 people in Lee Taewon's Halloween crush tragedy during the week-long national mourning period, almost all shows and events were cancelled in the home country. But the events and concerts planned outside the country proceeded without any change. NCT 127's Indonesian concert, Neo City, Jakarta, The Link, was one of them. But something unexpected was waiting for NCT 127 at the venue in Jakarta, where the concert was planned. Even before the team landed in the city, a handwritten bomb threat letter was found in the venue, shocking organizers, the team, and NCT fans. Jakarta Metro Police also received a report of an online post circulating that claimed bombs were installed at the venue, where NCT 127 was supposed to perform. Immediately, a police team with a bomb-sniffing dog was rushed to the spot and after a thorough check, nothing suspicious was found and the venue was declared safe to perform. But the police continued to search for the person who initiated the bomb threat. Even though the police said the person had been identified, they did not disclose the real identity, citing security issues. This is not the end of the story, as the first day of the concert proved how dangerous not following the rules can be. When NCT was performing Paradise, Taeyong noticed that the fans were trying to cross the barriers. The standing section of the audience went crazy and knocked over the barricades and tried to get closer to the stage. Shocked NCT 127 members were seen requesting fans to maintain distance and stop pushing, but the crowd had gone out of control. After the team performed Touch, a special announcement was made asking people to move back. But the damage was done and reports claimed that at least 30 people had fainted due to the chaos. When the lights were turned on, the team saw many people being carried away amidst the chaos. Realizing the seriousness of the situation, NCT 127 made a shocking announcement and stopped the show at 9.20pm, 30 minutes earlier than scheduled. It wasn't clear if the next day's concert would go ahead as planned, but with all possible precautions, the second day of the concert was peaceful and successful. Fans bared their hearts to their idols by holding placards that read, We're sorry, Uritir. Uritir is the nickname fans have given to NCT 127. The K-pop fan reciprocated the feeling and told fans that they didn't have to apologize, making fans fall for the simplicity and humbleness of NCT members all over again. Blinks have expressed their concern over Jisoo's health after they saw Blackpink's concert in Seoul. At a time when Jisoo is winning praises for her amazing performances during Blackpink's Born Pink World Tour, a post on the Pan-Nate blog has left Blinks worried. The post shared pictures of Jisoo performing with a swollen lymph node on her neck. The lump on Jisoo's neck was noticed during the second day of the Blackpink's World Tour performance in Seoul on October 29th. Despite this condition, which can cause a plethora of symptoms including fatigue, Jisoo performed with great energy. But surprisingly, after performing as if it's your last, Jisoo started tearing up. Before her voice choked, the oldest member of Blackpink said, and then her voice choked and she couldn't speak. It is surprising because Jisoo is rarely seen getting emotional or crying in public. Fans have speculated that Jisoo might be having serious health conditions, which have resulted in her having a swollen lymph node and also mood swings. It is said that swollen or inflamed lymph nodes can show up when a person is physically exhausted and also when one has a cough, cold, and fever. If you notice, Jisoo had kept her hair long for most of the show. Fans have been speculating that she might have been trying to hide the lump on her neck. 
According to Healthline, a person who has a swollen lymph node usually experiences fatigue, coughing, fever, chills, sweating, and a runny nose. While it is said that this swelling is common and treatable, it could also be painful. This led to fans researching lymph nodes, and some pointed out that inflammation can also be caused by cancer. Fans started freaking out and demanded that the agency should take better care of their members. With the number of posts expressing concern over Jisoo's health growing, YG Entertainment released a statement reassuring fans that Jisoo was fine. The agency said that Jisoo is handling the world tour schedule well, and there is there's nothing wrong with her health. Research states that lymph nodes function as filters, trapping viruses, bacteria, and other causes of illnesses before they can infect other parts of your body. Neck, under the chin, armpits, and groin are the most common places where these nodes are. But the repeated appearance of swollen lymph nodes on Jisoo's neck is surely a matter of concern. We hope Jisoo gets proper treatment and time to rest amidst her busy schedule during the Born Pink World Tour. At last, BTS member Jungkook's lost hat is found! The man who tried to sell Jungkook's lost hat online for a ridiculous amount of money has confessed to his crime. The man is identified as a former employee of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. But does the hat really belong to Jungkook? Yes, Haibu has confirmed that Jungkook had lost his hat at the passport department of the Foreign Affairs Ministry when he had gone there with other members to get his diplomatic passport made. This incident occurred in September 2021. The man waited for over a year and then put the hat for sale online along with the picture of his ID card. It was a Kangol hat costing around 90,600 Korean won, which is approximately 65 US dollars. But the man tried to sell the hat for a whopping 10 million Korean won, approximately 7,600 US dollars. When the news spread, ARMY was fuming because someone tried to sell their favorite idol's accessory. But the man tried to justify his action and said that Jungkook had left his hat in the waiting area of the passport division. As no one came to claim the item, he had become the owner of the hat and had the right to sell it. But according to South Korean law, anyone who acquires a lost item must hand it over to the police. They will face charges if they try to own it illegally or attempt any misrepresentation. When the issue became controversial, he surrendered to the police at Yongin City of Gyeonggi Province. Sokcho police, who are investigating the case, have charged the man with embezzlement of lost articles. Police said that they are reviewing the legal principles for possible additional charges. Meanwhile, New Jeans, dubbed the most popular K-pop rookie group of 2022, is all set to make a comeback. The group, consisting of Minji, Hani, Danielle, Hayden, and Hyein, will be seen with their new single album, OMG, on January 2, 2023. It will include the title track the team had prepared during their debut production. OMG will also gift a special winter track to their fan club, Bunnies. Ahead of the comeback, New Jeans will come out with the pre-release track on December 19th. Did you know New Jeans members looked adorable in their childhood? Here is a quick glance at New Jeans members' childhood and their magical transition. Minji Honey Danielle Hayden and Hayden.